Wow, what a night. Yeah, it was such a wonderful night and a glamorous ceremony for that matter. Finally, I can now be my own boss. You can say that again. I can have my husband to myself. No more lonely nights because of business trips. Ah, can you imagine 32 years of loneliness? <laughs> ah, ah, honey, 32 years of loneliness. Ah, ah. Anyone hearing you saying that would think I just abandoned you? You can't blame me. That was how I felt when you were going on all your business trips and the children were also far away. Okay, I understand. But you like all the gift I always bring for you, isn't it? Anyway, let us go in. It's been a long night. Gift? Hmm, anyway, let us go in. Dear, you are up so early. <laughs> Remember you are retired now and you need to rest before you start your own business. Good morning, my dear. Yes, I woke up very early. It will take time for my system to get used to this new way of living. Yes, I know. But you have to deliberately force yourself to rest. You need it before you start your own business. I hear you. But remember, we are talking about the habit of 32 years. But don't worry, my love. Don't you worry. Okay, oh. If you say so. Uh -huh, and that reminds me, John and Mary sent their greetings. They said they would have been part of your retirement party, but you know, because of COVID-19, all these travel restrictions, they can't be, they couldn't make it. I do understand. But I miss my children very much. May the Lord help us to overcome this COVID-19 issue in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me get your breakfast ready. Thank you, my love. Uh -huh. um, I will be going to the city council to submit my bid for the property later today. What bid? And what property are you talking about, my love? Uh, the bid to buy a property which I will use for my soap factory, of course. But you applied for the old building from the German embassy. What happened to that? Ah, that one. The people are taking long to respond. Imagine over six months and counting and no response. I am not getting any younger, so I must start the new business as soon as possible. That is why I am bidding for this new one. When my friend told me that there is in an open building, I decided to go for it. But there... I thought we prayed about the building from the German embassy and the Lord promised that he will give it to us. Why can't we wait? Ah, don't give me that wait story. This is why I never wanted to tell you about my new agenda. I know you will go on preaching and preaching to me. But there... The Bible says that those that wait upon the Lord. It's enough, woman. Save your sermon for yourself. I am the head and I will do things my own way. Can you now get my food ready? Madam Preacher. Dear, please, don't be angry with me. I am just concerned. Yeah, it's okay. But how are you sure you will get this new building since a lot of people will be bidding for the same building? Ah, don't you worry. 
The building is as good as ours. I have given some money to the head of the intercessors in the church to raise up altars of prayer for this bid. I have also sent money to the field marshal prophet Dangolos and the gracia of the new millennium Archbishop Greatness both from the Ukraine. They are to pray on this issue and they agreed. Also, I gave a dangerous seed to the church yesterday. So, you see, with all these great men of God praying for this bid, there is no way we will not get that building. You should be proud of me, your husband. My husband, are you sure all this is necessary? Yeah, yeah, I am very sure. The Bible even said we should cast our bread upon many waters, which is what I have just done. Hmm, hmm, if you say so. No, 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 this can't be. This is daylight robbery. This can't be true. This is wickedness of the highest order. Annie, what is going on? Are you okay? Ah, my money, my seed, offerings, sacrifice, all gone, just like that. I don't understand. What are you saying? I am confused here. Imagine the city council gave the bid to another person. And do you know what is more frustrating? It is that they gave the building to a man who will use it for a nightclub and gambling house. How could they do that? How could they? It's okay, my dear. Let us go to the bedroom. It's not okay. Don't tell me it is okay. How can it be okay when God refused to answer my prayers? How can it be okay? Hey, my Lord. Ah, my money, my tithe, my seed, all gone. Honey, please lie down. Please stop doing this to yourself. Just know that God is in control. Can you imagine? How could they give the building to a person who will use it for nightclub and gambling compared to me that want to use it for a soap factory? Imagine the number of jobs I will create. Ah, my enemy has finally won. My enemy will rejoice over me. Ah, Titus Anderson, God is no longer on your side. Hmm, what did I do? What is my offense? After all my tithes, special offerings, the seed, not to talk of all the consortium of prayer warriors are engaged. Hmm, my husband, I just want you to know that God is on the throne. Honey, you won't believe what I just heard in what I saw on my phone. <laughs> this God, this God that we are serving, He is a faithful God. What is it? Why are you so over the moon? Did you find out about sales in a clothing shop? Listen, oh, I don't have money. I just sent some money to the children in school. No, not that. Then what is it? I don't have time. Just tell me what is it. The building you bid for, the one you did not get, was on fire and everything bent down to ashes. Jesus, what happened? A petrol tanker ran into an electric pole close to the building and it exploded. You see there, this is what the Lord prevented you from. Oh, oh Lord, I am very sorry. 
I never waited on your promise. And you were so faithful to me. You were so faithful to prevent me from this disaster. Oh, forgive me, my father. You truly proved your love to me. Yes, our God is faithful. Ah, Papa, thank you, I am dancing. I will forever be grateful and learn to wait on you. Annie, your phone is ringing. Oh, let me get it. Dear, you are right. Our God is faithful. He has done it again. Tell me, what happened? Hmm, it was the German embassy that just called now. They apologized for their late response. They said the building I applied for was approved immediately they got my application because they believed that the factory will create opportunities for the locals. Jesus, you are wonderful. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle working God. Thank you, Lord. Honey, I told you, God is faithful. But how come they took this long to inform you? Uh, they said the project officer traveled and was unable to arrive on time due to COVID-19. Finally, I can now start with the soup factory. Hmm. It is good to wait on the Lord. Yes, you can say that again. And thank you, my dear, for always encouraging me. but you have to take me for clothes shopping. I found a shop with discounts. You're making